You guys see this store? The store that used to be the dollar store where everything was a dollar. And then over the pandemic, everything went up to $1.25 and now we call it the five quarter store. Well, before the end of this year, you will need to call it the six quarter store because $1.50 will be the new starting point at most things inside this store. All right, so here's what I wanna point out. Let me show you guys this. They have put all new floors in this Joker, which will explain why the prices will be going up because they gotta pay for the improvements. So right now, all the signs still say $1.25, $1.25 on every single shelf that you go through. Grab it before it's gone, $1.25. But very soon, that will change. I will say they have a ton of stuff here. Also, you can see they just unloaded a bunch of stuff. And I think the door is open in the back to see into their warehouse. There's a lot of people. Let me see if we can see how much is in there. Hold on. So you've got food ready to go out and tons of stuff back there. Now I will say for the parents and uh, people out there who have kids who need to do school stuff, poster board here is still way cheaper than anywhere else. It's like the only thing that's cheaper than $1.25. Now I will say Moon Pies is smart for cashing in on uh, the April 8th occurrence. These are solar eclipse survival kits, just so you know, but only the banana and the vanilla. Chocolate, not so much. All right, now this is totally off topic, but I have never seen SpaghettiOs with Frank's Red Hot. Fan of Frank's Red Hot. You used to love SpaghettiOs literally straight out of the can. SpaghettiOs tasted like metal, I know, but that used to be my favorite when I was little. But I've never seen it with Frank's Red Hot. And I've also never seen these, the Harvest Sweet Corn Cream Style. But they got a lot of stuff here on the shelf food-wise. So that's a plus. Okay, so leaving Dollar Tree, I did get a few things. I needed a new um, scooper and McCormick's has them here for like $1.25 currently until they go up to $1.50. But there is a article that came out talking about how Dollar Tree said that their customers can afford to spend more so they will be raising their prices. Basically what they said, I'm gonna read you the article when I get over here to my Jeep. Um, but for now, I just wanted you to see they can't fix their sign on the outside, yet they spent money on floors on the inside, and then they're gonna up the prices for everybody because they feel like our economy is strong enough that everybody can afford at least $1.50 for every single thing they buy. Now, I would like to point out, they did have a bunch of seed packs still in uh, this Dollar Tree here. They are four for a dollar, which is still a really good price. They had a ton of different ones to choose from. I couldn't record it. There's a bunch of people standing in front of it. A lot of people in there shopping this morning, but this is the... <laughs> The one thing I went in there to get because I boil eggs a lot and picking them out one at a time is annoying. So I wanted a bigger scooper and then also, you know, other stuff like broccoli and stuff you may cook on the stove, whatever. So I got that. But I want to explain to you, Dollar Tree is increasing their prices. So they're going up from $1.25 to $1.50. And they're also, you guys, they don't have it at this Dollar Tree, but there are Dollar Trees out there. I've shown them here uh, in different cities and states that we've traveled through where they have their... I call it the uppity section, if you will, which is not really uppity, but they have sections where it's three and five dollars for a lot of things, right? And it's the, the higher end products, if you will, for inside a Dollar Tree. And they normally have like um, baskets and things to decorate with. It's never food and it's never um, like art supplies and stuff like that. It's normally home decorations. Sometimes it is outdoor stuff for like your garden and things like that. But they do have a three and five dollar aisle. Well, now they're going up to seven dollars. So... Dollar Tree is increasing their prices in the stores this year to $7 by the end of the year. So by the end of 2024, you'll see the prices go up. According to this, this year, this is their, their quote from their CEO, Rick Drayling. He said he told this to USA Today on a phone call March 13th. This year, across 3,000 stores, we expect to expand our multi-price assortments by over 300 items at price points ranging from $1.50 to $7. So you will have numerous things going up to $1.50, other things that will be going up to $7. Uh, they'll be adding in new things that aren't currently on the shelves. Now it says in 2021, the company raised the base price of items from $1 to $1.25, again, the five-quarter store. Uh, last June, the company announced a $5 cap. Well, they have changed their minds. It was $5 is where they were stopping with everything, which is why you would see the three and $5 aisles, right? But now this year they said, hey, listen, our, our people are spending more money. They can afford to spend more money. It's not because of inflation. It's not because they said, you know, they have to raise their prices to keep up with the, the pricing of their manufacturers, their suppliers. They literally say it's because they know that buyers can afford to spend more. According to this, company officials say the increase reflects a wealthier customer base. 
That is their, their quotes, wealthier customer base. So I don't know if that means that they think that more people in the upper I want to use the word echelon, which I don't think that's the right word either, but the upper echelon of money are now shopping at Dollar Tree, or they think that their, their, their normal customer base, I'm going to call it normal customer base, are making more money and can afford to spend more. I do not think it is the second one. I do per personally feel like it's people that have plenty of money that go into Dollar Tree and buy a lot of stuff, right? Buy, buy their foods and their, their things there. Same as Goodwill, same as thrift stores. Normally when I go to donate stuff at thrift stores, there's a couple that are run by churches over where I live and I will go donate stuff to them. And I will see a Bentley pull up. I will see a Mercedes, um, the, the G wagon, those, those ones that look, they want to be a Jeep, but they're not, they're the G wagon thing. I'll see those things pull up. And my brain is going, if you have the ability to afford that car, go to a different store, leave these things alone for the people who do not have the ability to afford that car and do not have the ability to go to different stores, thrift stores and things like that. Even Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, they were designed in, in essence in the beginning, I'm sure to help the people who were having more of a financial insecurity than others. But over time, the people who were fully financially secure are going in and basically wiping out the things that the less financially secure need and could afford. And it, it bothers me. I am not in the upper echelon of money by any means necessary, but I'm also not at the very bottom. I'm fully aware of that. I am smack dab middle class, you, you would call it. And I went to Dollar Tree today for this and y'all don't judge me, do not judge me. But I, and I know I talk about eating clean and doing clean things, but I also needed my chicken of the sea sardines and Louisiana hot sauce because they're so flipping good and I have crackers at home and I have lemon and I wanted them. So don't judge me. This is what I got at Dollar Tree, but I did not go in there with a cart and, you know, pick up every single thing under the sun because I, I personally feel like certain areas need to be left alone because the more people you have going in there spending a ton of money because they have a ton of money to spend, the more these corporations like Dollar Tree, as they're doing right now, go, oh, look, there's a lot more money being spent in here. It means our clients have more money, which means we can raise our prices. And then you're hurting the, the lower echelon or lower, uh, lower class or that, that sounds awful, not lower class, but the ones who the people who don't have that, I want to say, throw around money. I, Again, this is all coming out wrong. Y'all know me better than this, but the throw around money, it's hurting them more than anything because then where, where do they go? Now it's instead of going in there and buying four things at $1.25, they're buying three things at $1.50. You, you know what I mean? It's going to make a massive change, a shift for people in how they spend money, how they buy things. And people may go, a quarter is not a big deal. Well, a quarter now, it was a quarter uh, two years ago. It'll be another quarter or more next year. It does start to add up. That's how inflation works. That's how people go from being okay and able to afford their bills to not okay. Look, look, are you kidding me right now? Let me show you. Hold on. I said, G-Wagon pulls up to go to Dollar Tree. I, you could not even make this stuff up. I just think that's absolutely hilarious is happening right now as we literally just sat here and talked about the fact that people who can afford to go other places haven't. And it may sound hypocritical because I'm sitting in a Jeep and Jeeps aren't the cheapest. This is a $35,000, vehicle, right? Used. I got it used. I wasn't about to pay brand new Jeep. Now they want a hundred grand for a new Jeep. They've lost their 11 months, but, um, I, I, but anyway, what, sorry, I lost where I was at. It just, it's interesting and ironic to me that a G wagon pulls up while we're talking about that. Anyway, the fastest growing demographic is North of 125,000 a year in income. It's not like the Northeast is strong and the West is weak. That boat is lifting pretty even all the way up. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. Yes. Um, there has been, you know, um, pay increases for people, but there's also been less people being hired due to said pay increases for people who, who already are at these places and, and making the money. I don't feel like the majority of people are making $125,000 a year. And I don't think that Dollar Tree should base their pricing off that consumer because you're going to have less at the 125,000 and up. They're going to shop there versus 125,000 and below that need to shop there. It's just like Walmart making all their changes where they were like, Hey, we want to look more like a department store you'd see in a mall. So they've gone through and they've redesigned everything. They have higher end clothes. They've got mannequins. They've done all these different things. The prices have gone up because of it. The cost. Now they want to charge you for memberships, all these different things. 
at some point, what happens if Dollar Tree puts their head completely up their butt and goes, you know what? You should have a membership to shop at Dollar Tree. I don't put anything past CEOs of companies because again, huh, hashtag profit over people. That's what it's normally about. The company, uh, the company recently announced that it would close around a thousand family dollar brand locations over the next few years with 600 expected to close this year. So not only are they closing family dollar stores after Dollar Tree bought family dollar, not only are they closing family dollar stores, they are raising the prices of Dollar Tree. So they are taking away stores in areas that are necessary and needed that people could afford and they are making it so that Dollar Tree is all that's left. A lot of people, you know, you see a, a brand buy another brand and you think to yourself, oh, it's going to be bigger. No. Dollar Tree, in my opinion, bought Family Dollar in order to wipe out their competition. Family Dollar was more competition for Dollar Tree than it was for Dollar General, right? Dollar General has its own issues right now with all of its price gouging, where the, the price ringing up at the register does not match what's on the shelves. Lots of money being paid out to, by Dollar General right now to numerous states, numerous cities, because of the price gouging, the overpricing, if you will. But you have Dollar Tree looks at Family Dollar and goes, hey, they are competition. Let's spend money, buy them up. We'll make a couple stores where it's a Dollar Tree Family Dollar combination. I showed you guys one of those maybe a year and a half ago in, I don't know if it's like the outskirts of Florida or right into Alabama. I cannot remember exactly where it was. It was the first one I had seen. But now you have Dollar Tree going, you know what, we'll just close Family Dollar and that way everything comes back to us. They want their brand name to be the biggest one, right? but you're taking away areas where people in lower income rely on in order to get the necessities, the, the, the loofahs, the body wash, the food, the dog supplies, baby diapers, birthday party stuff, Easter stuff. They have a ton of Easter stuff up in there already. The more you take those away, then you have that monopoly where it's Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, Target. Okay, that's what you've got because you have CVS stores closing down. You have Walgreens stores closing down. Rite Aid is basically almost gone completely. All these smaller locations where it made it easier for people on lower incomes or on fixed incomes to go in and make the, the purchases they needed of random everyday little things they needed. They're, they're slowly either going away or increasing their price so much that it's going to be harder for people in a lower income to afford to live. And I think that's really shitty the way our country works when it comes to stuff like that. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Some of the locations that are closing stores, just so you know, for Family Dollar um, are Middletown, New Jersey, Tallahassee, Florida, um, Peoria, Illinois, Lynchburg, Virginia, East Liverpool, Ohio, Slocum, Alabama, Wilmington, North Carolina, Humansville, Missouri, Willow Springs, Missouri, Wichita, Kansas, Clearwater, South Carolina, Elkins, West Virginia. Dollar Tree, just so we all know, operates 16,774 stores across 48 states. This was as of February 3rd. So, they are closing their family dollars that they have bought. They have 16,774 stores. They have twice as many stores almost as Dollar General. And I can guarantee you those family dollars that closed down, what are the odds any of those are revamped into a Dollar Tree? The new flooring inside this Dollar Tree with the, uh, the literally the L is missing on the outside of Dollar Tree. Half the, the letters are the wrong color. They don't light up like they're supposed to. Well, who cares if the inside looks nice, if the outside looks janky as all get out? Like, who wants to go into the janky looking Dollar Tree? Not me. Yeah, you get in there and it smells good and the floor is, you know, new, but the, the outside looks skeezy. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on this because a lot of people depend on those lower priced items. And those lower priced items by 2020, the end of this year, by end of 2024, will be higher priced items. Same items just going to cost you more. And it's not because of inflation. And that's what really, really grinds my gears, if you will, pisses me off. It's not because of inflation. <coughs> it's because according to company officials, the increase in prices reflects a wealthier customer base. Wealthy people get enough already. Why we got to mess with Dollar Tree? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. But again, I don't, I don't work on the profit over people mind frame that these companies do. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you're fully aware before the end of this year, get what you need from Dollar Tree or understand that you're spending a little bit more starting 2025. All right, scroll type. Not the best news. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like crap in anybody's Wheaties. I just wanted to let you know what's going on because it's important to have a heads up, right? So I love you all immensely and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye.